another video or if you're new hello my name is Cindy and well today I'm gonna be creating the look that I have on right now and I am gonna be using the violet boss flamingo eyeshadow palette this is my second look with the eyeshadow palette and I love it like I really recommend you guys pick it up and it's now available at Sephora so you guys can now get it if you guys haven't gotten a chance to get it now you guys can pick it up at Sephora I'm also going to be trying the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation, which it's like my first time using it. I know it's not new, but it's my first time using it. And well, if you guys would like to see how I create this look and the products that I use, the shades, uh, just keep on watching. And well, before we start, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos from me. And well, now I'm, I'm going to get started just so the intro is not super long. Okay, and as you can tell, I have my eyebrows done already just because it takes me forever to do my eyebrows, so I always start with my eyebrows on. To prime my eyelids, I'm going to be going in with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which looks like this. You can use anything you want to use. You can even use concealer. I'm just going to go in with uh, this one. I'm going to put it on my hand and then apply it from there. just going to apply it with my finger. And to set the eyeshadow primer, I'm going to be going in with the shade Sand, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to apply it all over my eyelid to set the eyeshadow primer. All the way up to my brow bone. Okay, I'm not even sure what look I'm going to do, but I think I'm going to be going in with the shade Lemonade to start. I'm just going to put this like all over my crease up here. And I do put my eyeshadow a little bit higher just because my eyes are hooded. So, so I do have to put it a little higher just because of my hooded eyes. This color is not too pigmented. But it's fine because it's just a transition color. Okay, so now I'm just going to intensify the color a little bit more. And then I'll be right back. Now with this uh, Kylie brush, I'm going to be going in with the shade. I'm going to be going in with this shade right here. I'm just going to apply it like a little bit under the yellow color. Just because I still want the yellow to be showing. To blend it a little bit and I'm also going to intensify this color now I'm going to be going in with the shade lemonade again just to blend a little bit more like on the edges and with the same brush I'm going to be going in with this watermelon shade right here and I'm just going to put it in the same place where I put the previous shade and I do have fallout, but I don't worry about it just uh, because that is the reason why I'm doing my eye makeup before my foundation. I'm just going to blend this as much as I can. I'm going back in with the lemonade shade to blend the colors a little bit more. And I just really want this yellow to be showing like as much as it can. It's not too pigmented, but it's still a pretty color. Okay, so now to create like a half cut crease, whatever, I'm gonna be going in with this Too Faced glitter glue. You don't have to use a glitter glue. You can even use like a concealer or whatever you want to use. And again, I'm just going to apply it behind my hand to make it easier for me to apply. This is the brush that I'm going to be using. Okay, I'm going to be taking it on my brush. be 
be going back in with the watermelon shape and just blending it with the shimmer shape that we applied. Just so it looks a little bit more blended. And again, don't forget, I'm not a makeup artist, so if I'm doing something wrong, then it's fine. It's just makeup. You can take it off. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear my cat. With the smaller brush, I'm going to be picking up the same shade and just applying it on top just to make the color a little bit brighter. And then again, going back with the lemonade shade and blending the eyeshadows. It's going to clean up like the bottle that I have down here. I think I'm going to go ahead and add some glitter. This is the brush that I'm going to be using it to apply. It's from Aesthetica. I think that's the brand. I'm using the Stella Glitter in Rose Gold Retro. Now I'm going to put like a thin line of eyeliner just for whenever I put my eyelashes. Okay, I went ahead and applied mascara and now I'm just going to apply my eyelashes. I'm going to be going in with this one. You don't have to use them as dramatic as this, but this is just what I like. So that's what I'm going to use. And okay, now that I have my eyelashes on, I'm going to go ahead and move to my face. And before I do that, I'm just going to put my hair back. And for my primer, I'm going to be going in with my favorite, just the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It looks like this. I'm about to use an, a new foundation. It's not really for dry skin, but I'm still going to use it just because I've heard really good things about it and I've never tried it before. For my foundation, I'm going to be going in with this Maybelline Fit Me Matte in Poreless. And I picked up the shade uh, 220. I'm not sure if this is my right shade or not. It might be just because I'm like a little bit more tan right now. I feel like I don't have to set the foundation, but I'm still going to put some powder just because I do have like huge smile lines. And I'm almost out of it because it's like one of my favorites. Okay, and since all my brushes are dirty, I'm going to be be applying it with the Morphe M513. I'm also going to put some under my eyes. Okay, and now for my bronzer, I'm going to be going in with the Benefit Hula Bronzer, which is this one right here. apply the hula light on the sides of my nose okay and for my blush since I already have this uh, palette here I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the benefit dandelion which is this blush right here for my highlight I think I'm gonna be going in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Peach Goddess my sister and I got this for me. Thank you, sister. You don't have to apply as much highlight as I'm doing. I just like to have like a lot of highlights, so that's fine with me. That's what I like. If you don't like it, then just don't apply too much. Okay, now for my lower lash line, I'm going to be going in with uh, the two shades that I was using. corner I'm gonna be going in with the shade pineapple which is this shimmery yellow one and for my brow bone I'm gonna be going in with the same one from Jeffree Star the peach goddess if you guys hear a little bit more noise it's just because my baby just woke up and also my husband just got home from work so it's fine Okay, for my waterline, I'm going to be going in with black eyeliner from Sephora. You don't have to use black eyeliner. It's just what I have here with me, so I'm going to use it. 
And then I'm gonna apply some mascara to the lower lashes. And for my lipstick, I'm gonna be going up with this Jeffree Star and Manny MUA in the shade I'm Shook. Okay, guys, and this is the finished look. I really like the way it came out, I think. And this palette is available now on Sephora, so you guys can now get it if you guys haven't gotten it. And well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.